This video has been delayed by about two weeks by now, and I've been working so hard to actually get this out on YouTube and Vlayer. So, introducing... Now, lucky for me, I just got done for finals, so I can make what ever content I want until the next semester is around. I got this for $10, and I actually got this when I was uh, on summer this year. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, open up the uh, wrap. Wait, hold up a second. We gotta get a really good look at that. Not for resale. Hmm. Huh. Interesting. Uh, but anyway, let's take a look what's inside of the box. Hey, do you guys know I have a Minecraft server? Alright, so let's open the box. So inside we have the uh, floppy disks. You're important to us. Register today. So boop floppy. We also got the CD. A letter. License agreement. Oh wait, no, this is end license agreement. License agreement. End license agreement. Continued. A please note. A resource guide. And a start here and administrator's guide. This is pretty thick. So, <clears throat> so now we got that out of the way. We got our CD. This is only one. <coughs> Do not make illegal copies of this disc. No wonder why this isn't on a uh, WinWorld PC. I gotta open these up, seriously. Alright, so now we're going to set up the computer that we're going to be using, so I'll go ahead and do that right now. Alright, so I have a bit of explaining to do as to why this video actually paused right here. Okay, so, first computer, didn't work. It did not boot up to the CD, well actually it did boot up to the CD, but it kept on crashing at the part where it was going to format everything and blah 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 blah. Then we had to get a new computer, and then we had to get a new hard drive in there, but we actually replaced it with a flash card so that I'd be able to dump all the files from that computer and put them onto a server. And, well, now I'm just going to skip to the part where I actually get from the formatting process to, well, the actual installation, which is a lot more nicer and a lot more interesting than actually formatting the drive. I'll get to that clip right now. So, at the moment, we are in the actual setup. Not like the first part of the setup, but the actual setup on the hard drive itself. So, at the moment, it is, well, it's just stuck at the screen at the moment. I am not too sure what to do. Oh, here we go. Now it's copying files and going through everything else. So this might take a little bit. I went through this setup about millions of times on a VM, so I know what to do. CD key. Okay, so now if you think that this isn't legit, I have an actual CD key. So I have to enter this in, but you guys aren't going to see this part because I am a super big brain and you guys won't be able to. Do that. 
that. Sorry, sorry if you could hear maybe some clicking sounds in the background. That's my camera trying to autofocus, but it doesn't like the background, so that's kind of a problem. Anyway, as you can see here, the the CD drive is going mentally insane, and the compact disc is actually going mentally insane as well. Oh no, it's my favorite part. Okay, wait, give me a second. I need to show you guys something. So down there, that is the um, compact compact flash right there. Unfortunately, my camera cannot focus. Come on. There we go. So that's a compact flash. I think it's like, I'm not sure what the capacity is, but it's not that big nor small. Let me just... Okay, so now we have the set where we're located. So no, this is not the current location. We are going to have to use the up arrow. Uh, Pacific time, close. Get some stuff. Oh, okay. Uh, here we can uh, take the uh, CD ROM out. I'll be taking this. We'll be putting back in that there. And restart the computer. <laughs> if you didn't see that, the uh, the hard drive sort of uh, stopped at one point when I was like trying to close it. That's funny. Okay, uh, hard drive. Yay! We get to finally boot. Microsoft Windows NT version 4.0 build 13.81 Service Pack 3 Windows Microsoft Windows NT. Wait, no, this isn't. It's just Windows. Terminal Server Build 419 Processor 1 and the 2 gigs of some type of DDR RAM. You got games? Yes. Solitaire. Let's play. Ooh, it has a... Nice. That's actually kind of cool. We're only going to have to play around in this for a little bit and then the computer's going to have to reboot due to this. But anyway, uh... Let's just play a little bit of solitaire. Okay. Well, I mean, this is sort of a success. Uh, all we have to do is just install some of the uh, main drivers, and then we'll be done. Uh, so what can we do at the moment? Oh my god. Administrator. Yay! Welcome to, to the terminal server. Did you know? If you, if you don't know how to do something, you can look it up. Oh, yeah, sure. You know what? I'll have that actually show every single time. Okay, so this is our Windows NT installation. What we are now going to do is we are going to in we are now going to get this onto a server and I mean onto my computer, and we are going to install some of the drivers that we need for this system. So I'll go ahead and uh... yeah, that works. Okay, so I was actually going through all the um the files on the computer, and I found something really cool.
that's enough. Uh, we'll now eject, and um, we'll put the storage drive back into the computer, I suppose. Alright, we're starting up the computer. We're going to see if the files are there. There might right, be something outside. Yeah, I think there's just kids running inside. Okay. Files. Oops, operating system not supported. The setup. No, it's okay. I can't save it like that. Save. Nice. Okay. Oh, well, it does that. Okay. So now we have to go into here. Options. Um, no. No, no. So this is the point where I realized there was something wrong with this version of Windows NT. Or this version of Windows to be exact. Oh no, what's the issue you might ask? There's no device manager on Windows NT 4.0. So when I realized that, I was like, oh no, I won't be able to install any of the drivers or make sure that even the whole entire system even detects the drivers and actually uses them. So, the video ends off with a successful installation, but there's no drivers. But hopefully, in the next episode, we will find out a way to work around the... Please install Windows 2000 or Windows XP because that's the required OS that it needs. We're going to try to figure out a way at how we could work around that in the next video of Hardcore Windows NT Terminal Server Edition. So if you guys want to see more of that, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell. I know it's it's becoming more common on my YouTube channel to say this, but... If you really want to see the next episode of this, let's see if we can hit three likes. I know it's not that much, but three or more likes, and I will definitely make sure to make another episode of Hardcore Windows NT Terminal Server Edition. So, yeah. Bye-bye. Stick around. Please like the video. Ah!